स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ स्टार्टिंग सेक्शन इन द वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ स्टार्टिंग सेक्शन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एरिया दैट मीन दिस लॉ सेकेंड लॉ स्टेट दैट द फोर्स ऑफ स्टार्टिंग सेक्शन इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन द टू what we'll do again we'll do the same thing first we'll take suppose this is a table okay this is a table the block is uh, here i will take uh, two blocks one is here and uh, another just over it Two blocks, one over another. Here is the string which uh, goes over the pulley. The pulley is here, and uh, to the other end, there is a pan where mass has to be added. Now, two blocks, one over another, is kept. It is found that. if i will do the same experiment again suppose the base area of one block is a i have kept two blocks similar blocks one over the other so if i place one over the other then the base area is equal to the area of each one one of the block so only because one of the block is only in contact with the surface so suppose the area which is in contact is a and from here the weight will be suppose that w is the weight of single block so there are two blocks so weight is 2w so i will write it is uh, only w i will assume that w2 w by 2 is the weight of one block so w by 2 one block W by two another block to total weight is W. That way is fine. Now the normal reaction is suppose because of uh, first one the normal reaction is uh, I'll say in this case situation suppose the normal reaction is uh, N one first case and uh, the mass uh, that I have added is M one and uh, which creates a force uh, downward force uh, F one is the pulling force. This is a driving force responsible for the block to move along the direction, and because of this, uh, there is a friction in the opposite direction. That is suppose F S one. So in this situation, when the area of contact of the two blocks one placed over the other is because of the area of one block only, it is found that the when i find fs1 over n1 fs1 over n1 i that is equal to f1 over w because as usual as you used to do you used to find the ratio to get the value of coefficient of static friction suppose this is new and whatever is that i write it the equation number 1 in the second case i will take these two blocks separately at at a time but connected separately by increasing the area two times so the diagram will be like this i have this as a table now the two blocks are placed one after the another this is how this is placed 
and this is a string this is the pulley the string here the weight is w by 2 the weight is w by 2 because i have taken each weight as w by 2 the total weight is again the same thing but i placed at different places here here the m is uh, the two blocks are now placed side by side so that the area becomes double in the earlier case the area was a now in this case a plus a the area of contact is 2a this is how the area is increased but here the normalization is suppose uh, n n2 here also the same n2 it is found that here it is 2n2 obviously the total normal reaction is 2n2 and the total weight is uh, total weight is uh, w so suppose the force i am applying here is uh, the force i am applying here is uh, to start with certain minimum force i start uh, applying force and it is surprisingly found that it is found that at the same force f1 at the same force f1 which was pulling these two blocks when one is placed over the other is again pulled by the same force when they are placed side by side and the friction that is produced here is fs to suppose that equals to this but because this force is equal to the earlier force so that means the force of friction here or this force which is pulling this both are equal are independent of the area of contact so whether we place one over the other or you play increase the area the force of friction will remain same for the blocks in contact or uh, so what i am getting is that the force f1 if i call this as f2 also then it is found that this f2 is equal to the earlier f1 in case of f2 the area was 2a in case of f1 the area was a so whether the area is increased from 2a to a to 2a but this force will not going to change the force which is driving force is not changing but the driving force is equal to the force of static friction that is fs2 if that is fs1 they are not changing they are equal that means fs is a constant quantity irrespective and is independent of area it doesn't depend upon area so that is what is the second law it says that the force of static friction is directly proportional to normal reaction because in both the cases the normal reaction is same so therefore by mere increasing the area or decreasing the area will not change any in any magnitude of the force of static friction okay so this law is verified that the force of static friction is independent of the area of contact between the two objects okay thank you